Hi, everybody. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining here with Auntie Mimi, where we're brain training to be that better and better person that we want to be. So I hope you had an amazing Shabbos, especially after that last class about Shabbos. And uh, I hope you had a lot of delight and a lot of pleasure, just peace of mind with, the, with what we learned, like, you know, to take a break and get away from it all. Take a break from all the work you do to be that better person. So today, we're going to tap into more pleasure. We're going to tap into more delight and how to upgrade. Enough is enough. Like, that's it. We're getting to that new level. We're reaching new heights here together. And really think about what we can do to have more pleasure and more delight that's really worth living for. Let me explain. Imagine sometimes, right? And it happens to all of us. No judgment, please. I'm <laughs> just... Just try, bear with me, and think of situations, especially young children, right? You're in the home, and maybe you're the older brother or sister, and you constantly see them, like, taking and taking and taking, and you give, and you help, and you help. And, like, the one opportunity, like, that you ask them for help or to share something with you, and they're like, no! And they, like, forget all the things that you shared with them, all the good you gave to them, and you're like, oh, well, I am older, they are younger, but it still is kind of like an annoying feeling, right? It's like, what a shame. I did so much, and like, what's going on here? So, um, it's like, it's hard. Or sometimes it's even an older sister or brother. And maybe you're the more giving type. Maybe you're the more, you know, chesedic type of personality like Avram Avinu. And the other ones in your family aren't as chesedic. And you're giving and you're giving. And you feel like that one chance and you just ask for a little favor. And they're like, no. So sometimes when I think about the struggles, you know, with with being a giver and other people not being as much as a giver back, I think about myself and Hashem. I think about, wow, what may Hashem feel like, you know? Imagine He gives us, He gives us, He gives us. He gives our eyesight, He gives our our mouth to speak, our, our ear to hear. He gives us food. He gives us a, a shelter over our head. And, you know, like he, he does so much for us. He gave us the Torah and he, he continuously wants the best for us, even though sometimes we don't see everything that he's doing is for our best. But, but imagine even just for a second, like, you have an opportunity to do some good and then and then you feel like you don't want to do it or you feel like it's just you, you just don't feel like it and imagine for that moment how that could feel to Hashem just like maybe a situation where you gave and you gave and you gave and then that person didn't help you back so I don't know. I've been thinking like that a lot in my life, like how I just don't want to be a taker, how I just don't want to keep taking and taking and how I just want to take pleasure in giving back. To Hashem too. That's been my thought lately. And um, especially after we went through this class, with having the, you know, like that opportunity to take a break and not like feel so um, hard on ourselves, not to keep spying out what's wrong, what we need fixing, what, what, and like, and just to like switch the focus, right? Shabbat is about having the delight, having the pleasure of Hashem giving us all of the the energies all of the brachas 
to like stop thinking about ourselves and, and how we need to be better. It's like we have a chance, remember? Like just, that's enough. We did the work during the week and now Shabbat, Hashem gives us delight. Hashem gives us this break. He gives us this time for ourselves and the extra blessings to help us become organically, you know, elevated from the work before and not from <laughs> the hard work on Shabbos. So then I'm thinking, okay, so again he gives us, right? And now what we have to understand is how we can get to that level of now taking delight in giving just like Hashem takes delight in giving us. There's an example of a child and uh, the father wants to play a game with the child. So he picks up the child from the floor. He puts him on his lap. And now they're playing a game. Now there's like a bridge. Because before, the tall father is so high up there. And the child is so low there. Or sometimes the father will go down to the ground and play with the child. Right? So sometimes the father lowers himself to play with the child. So Hashem is our father. And he lifts us up when 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 we do Torah and mitzvahs, and he also comes down to us when we do Torah and mitzvahs. So, and he takes delight in connecting to us. So instead of seeing Torah and mitzvahs as something burdensome and something like that we constantly have to, you know, do because God says so, you have to see it as an image as Hashem has so much delight in us. He wants to be closer to us. So he gives us Torah and mitzvahs as a way to pick us up and be close to him. And also for him to come down here to be closer to him. And when you see that image of a father and a child or a mother and a child, it's just like, ah, oh, so special, right? You don't see it as anything but beautiful. Especially imagine if the baby's crying and crying and crying. And so the Tati, although he, the father is so busy with something, but he, he stops everything and he pays attention and lowers himself to play with that baby to go coo -hoo, ooh, and do all kinds of fun things to make the baby happy. Or he'll lift it up and put it on its lap. That is Torah and mitzvot. And Hasidus teaches us that. So the more we see how Hashem takes delight in us and wants to be with us and gives us Torah and mitzvahs to be with us, then we can follow His lead and appreciate how much He loves us and we can then start taking delight in pleasing Him. Because we're so thankful. Because it's just, it's just so, you know, so normal that if someone like spends time with you and gives you things and makes an effort to connect with you and you're like oh, wow they like me oh my gosh they want to be with me like oh I want to be with them and oh I want to make them happy because they're making me happy and they keep doing things